Good morning, everybody. My name is Michael, and today we're discussing about Google and Google's parent company, Alphabet. They are reflecting over the past year, and they recognize that there's obviously been a slump in the markets, but there's been a slump in one specific market, and that is impacting ad revenue. That is cryptocurrency. So Google's chief business officer admits that the slump is in the value of cryptocurrencies, and that is impacting ad revenue. So what kicked off this current crypto winter? Well, it's absolutely detrimental to the amount of money spent on services. On Tuesday, October 27th, there was an earnings conference for Alphabet, and Google's chief business officer, Mr. Philip Schindler, revealed that the business saw a decrease in search expenditure during the third quarter. Quote, unquote, in the third quarter, we did see a pullback in spend by some advertisers in certain areas in search, for example, on financial service. This is pretty obvious, but hello, welcome, with interest rates rising and less people being able to afford loans and obviously inflation and salaries not coming up to bar, working in sales and working with financing deals and seeing people get approved for loans. Now everything's going up and even people with perfect credit scores you're looking at what five, five and a half, six percent with mortgages. You drive on the highway, you see six, six and a half percent. Woo! -hoo. What's there to cheer about? Well, anyways, for example, in financial services, we saw a pullback in the insurance, loan, mortgage, and crypto subcategories. Well, of course, all of these were affected. Google's poor quarter impacted by crypto. Meanwhile, looks like the past three month period saw an overall increase in advertising of six percent. But it's not good news. It was Google's poorest increase among all quarters since the year 2013. Almost a decade. So the one exception to this was just the very beginning of the COVID-19 outbreak when almost all companies went haywire and people weren't able to attend the offices and everything just went crazy. So YouTube, one of Alphabet's biggest products, of course, and also one of the technically biggest losers, but they will make money. They are trying to make money from YouTube. Well, ad income has been decreasing on an annual basis, and this is quite obvious because when you look back at YouTubers, the ad apocalypse ever since then from many years ago, that was still back when I was in Poland, and that was what also impacted Avi and many other channels, even now history channels, military history channels, which I'm watching are getting affected by this, and history is being censored which is crazy. So Sundar Pinchai, Google CEO, which by the way, recent news, Mr. Elon Musk now took over Twitter and kicked off the CEO of Twitter and a couple other executives and top lawyers and whatever. So that's kind of fun. But anyways, Mr. Sundar Pichai attributed this development to the challenging macro environment and its effect on the advertising industry. The fact that YouTube has had trouble being able to monetize themselves. And yes, they're making billions of dollars, but it costs a lot of money to be able to run YouTube. And obviously, who is that impacting? The YouTubers. And then if it impacts the YouTubers, it's also impacting the end consumer and client. It is what it is. Well, obviously, Bitcoin, Ethereum, pretty much the whole market fell apart. So crypto companies, before they're able to advertise on YouTube, they have to be making money. And if they suddenly can't or go bankrupt, they're going to have less advertisers, which impacts the whole ecosystem. Now, it's not all bearish news with Google. Google is relying on Coinbase to accept payments in 2023 for all of its cloud services. So this indicates that the tech giant is at least hoping for bullish news next year. And we're almost done with this year. So hopefully this crypto winter is not too long. It's already been a little bit of a toughie. Um, we should have, right now, it's always the best time to make the most amount of money from advertising, not only with YouTube and Google and AdSense, but all across industry and advertising. The holidays are coming up. The most amount of money is spent. But also, there's a completely other aspect to this. Ads are getting more and more expensive. Ads have continually gone up in price, at least for certain categories, and especially for cryptocurrency, where sometimes a single click can cost a company a couple dollars, which is great for the YouTuber and great for those who are making money and selling products. However, it's bad when the market turns around because for these companies, they don't want to spend that money anymore. So what happens? Ad revenues, CPMs, MPMs, everything goes down. 
but that impacts the company. So there's less companies, which means less advertisements, which means the best advertisements go to the biggest content creators. And then the rest are struggling. And to be honest, I could care less because this is mainly a hobby. I'm not living off of this. But with a lot of content creators, if they're unable to live off of it, then they need to find other jobs. And then everything kind of falls apart and content it changes. You're not going to have the same audience because some people might get offended or whatever and they might leave and it impacts so many things so it's interesting what google the you know whole parent company alphabet is going to do with this it's interesting also how companies have changed their outlook on crypto a couple of years ago they wanted to ban crypto advertisements for their own nefarious purposes because they want to, especially Facebook, they wanted to create their own Libra coin and they wanted to promote their own projects, hypocrites. But with YouTube, YouTube's always had this advertising problem. Part of that could also be the fact that there has been so many management changes and tons of different employees and probably people are afraid to speak up and those who are in power are afraid of enacting big changes because whenever big changes occur, you're going to have different different opinions. Of course, not everybody's very happy, especially with a platform that's being used by billions of users. And there's going to be this big problem because people won't know what to do. So in this case, what do you do? Well, you hope for the best. I think with the changing environment, we are going to see more crypto advertisements. People will, companies will be willing to spend more, but after crypto winter. And of course, uh, we're going to have more users in crypto, so that's the end. The end result is good. Anyways, thanks for watching. I am done after today. Completely numb, just exhausted. Let's go to sleep, and you have a good rest of your night. Take care. Bye. Look at that tree. Isn't that gorgeous? Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.